Backfoot's got away here, takes it from distance! How about that? To crown your way to Wembley! A touch of pure class from Jermaine Beckford! Hello everybody and welcome to a purple Jermaine Beckford hero card review. So obviously Jermaine Beckford has received a purple card for scoring three goals against Chesterfield in the playoff semi-final for Preston and helping them get to the final. So he has, he has, it looks like he has a really awesome card. And as you can see there, he has 83 pace, 65 dribbling, 77 shooting and 70 physical in six games. He managed to score nine goals for me and get two assists, but he did cost me 450k, which is an insane amount. And especially as he is a right forward, he's not in his natural position, which is a striker. So I'll be showing you his in-game stats now so you can have a look at him and see how good his stats are in-game. So here are Beckford's in-game stats, and as you can see, he has some really good stats. As you can see, he has 71 attack positioning, 80 acceleration, and 84 sprint speed, so he is pretty fast. And he also has 72 strength, so he does keep defenders off him very well. He also has 79 finishing, which is really good for a silver card. 76 heading accuracy, which is also very good. And 79 shot power, and also 75 volleys. And as well as that, he also has a 4-star weak foot and 3-star skill move. So I'll be showing you some of the clips I got with him now. Here are some of the clips that I got with Jermaine Beckford and the first thing that I have to say about him is he would be awesome if he was a striker and obviously he is a right winger. This card he is a right winger and the reason for that being he did play on the wing uh, against Chesterfield when he scored his two goals at Deepdale and his one goal away. So that's a bit of a downside to him really as he's not really got what it takes to be a good winger. For example his dribbling is not the best and so that's why I'd highly recommend you play him as a right forward and not a right winger and not a right mid because definitely not a right mid but I would definitely suggest playing him as a right forward, as I guess he does fit into that role pretty well. He's got he's got a good pace, and you know he's got not blistering pace, but good enough to get away from defenders and go through on goal and still manage to score. He's got very good shooting, especially for a silver card. 77 shooting is fantastic for a silver card. And one thing that I would definitely recommend, I would always recommend not doing finesse shots. And the reason for that being, he is right footed and is playing on the right side. So if you're going to be taking a finesse shot with his weaker left foot, I wouldn't do that. I'd definitely recommend scoring power shots and taking power shots into the far corners. And you'll see that in some of these clips, I do score a lot of power shots with him. And that's really where his strengths are. His strengths are Garner chipping the ball over to him, him going through on goal and powering it into the back of the net like he does there that is what Beckford is all about this card but one massive downside to him is his price range it is just ridiculous I believe on Xbox it's about 250k and on PlayStation it is 450k for a silver card it is ridiculous for a silver card playing out of position it is just ridiculous and you know EA really do need to sort that out and he is also extinct on the market so for the average person he is incredibly hard to get the only reason I am managed to get him was because one of my mates somehow managed to get him and then he told me when he was listing it and I bought that off him so that's the only way I managed to get this Jermaine Beckford card and so so that is his biggest negative but his positives I'd say almost outweigh his negatives because he is a really fun and enjoyable card to use he is tall and he is strong so he keeps defenders off him very well indeed and he's definitely capable of blistering past them with his pace. Even though it's not astounding, his pace is decent enough to get past to, pl to get past other players. And his heading, I did score one or two headed goals with him. And honestly, it's not too bad. And so his heading and physical really are, you know, what make him quite good as a right forward, really. But the one thing that I noticed about this Jermaine Beckford card, the most goals I scored with him were actually from rebounds so you saw the team that I played him in in the start of the video and basically what would always seem to happen would Garner would have a chance he'd shoot the keeper would save it and Beckford would be there to get the rebound and he put it in the back of the net so that's something that you've got to take into consideration and for one or two games I did actually put Beckford into the striking position so I subbed him on to the striking position and he played fantastic there so I would definitely recommend if you do end up going out and buying this Jermaine Beckford card if you either have him on the bench 
or have him as a right forward and then sub him on as a striker because he works absolutely fantastic when he is a striker. So here are his pros and cons that I have given him. As you can see, his pros, I have given him good shooting, good pace, good heading and good physical and his cons I gave him. He's not great on the wing as his dribbling and crossing isn't great. He is extinct on the market at the moment and his price range is ridiculous at 300 to 400k on PS4 and also his dribbling isn't great for how much you're going to pay with him but overall he is a very enjoyable card to use and if you've got the money for him and are looking to build a Jamaican team or a Silver League 1 team or something like that then sure why not go out and buy him but if you are just the average person with not that much coins, there's other options out there. So, that'll wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. And I'll see you all in the next one.